Hey, what's up? Smash Pop here. And uh, before we start the review, I just want to ask you a question. Now, if you want to buy a phone which is full metal body, uh, which has a good camera, which comes with a fingerprint sensor, which comes with a big screen um, and lots more other features for only 499 ringgit. Seriously, do you think you can ever find that kind of deal in the market? Well, let me just tell you yes. Because we've got a new phone here by ZTE. It's called the ZTE Blade V7 Lite. And it has all those things for only 499 ringgit. So the Blade V7 Lite was just launched a few days ago and uh, seriously at this price point we can't really complain much because as you can see here it's full metal which is quite nice and it's designed in Munich, Germany so that's quite refreshing right? Um, it has a HD screen 720p display which is actually quite nice and uh, quite bright. But actually the selling point of this phone is not the screen, it's actually the fingerprint sensor because at 499 you get a fingerprint sensor. Really? Yes. Um, as you can see, unlocking the screen is actually very fast. It only takes 0.3 seconds that, and that's really impressive. So the big question is, is the camera good? Can take very nice selfie or not, huh? Well, the camera has a 13 megapixel camera at the back and an 8 megapixel camera on the front uh, with flash, which I will show you in a bit, okay? So basically, when you launch the camera, you get the auto mode. Auto mode is for those people who like to you know, tap and take picture, tap and take picture. But when you switch to pro mode, you can actually get the focus from one point and the exposure from another point. So all you need to do is just drag the thing around the screen, right? Um, apart from this, you also get the other pro mode features like ISO controls, exposure controls, just like what I'm doing now. I'm just making the picture brighter, darker, brighter, darker, like that. Lah. Okay, um, now let's move on to selfie. As you can see, selfie now is with flash. So you can take picture of yourself, you know, in the in the nightclub or under your blanket in the bed. I don't know why you do that lah. But anyway, as you can see the photos here, this is a low light photo. Okay, it's in the cafe, and uh, although the photos is photos are sharp, but uh, it couldn't actually capture the yellow gradient lighting in the interior. Okay, now this is an outdoor picture, which is actually very nice, right? This, I mean, this car. <laughs> Yeah, the mini countryman is actually very nice, but the photos look very good too. But as you can see on the side, it's actually a little bit out of focus. So it's not the whole picture focus, but just the middle point. Okay, and now this is another photo of Chakwe Tiao, which we love to eat so much. It's not bad, but I think there is a little bit of over sharpening here. So yeah, the camera is good, but not very, very, very good. But then again, it's only 499, you cannot expect much lah. But let me tell you a secret before I end this video. This device can let you become a magician because why? if you hold the phone and wave your hand according to all these shapes, you can do magical things like this one. Uh -huh, I just switched on the music player by waving my hand here. So yeah, um, the phone is also as thin as the iPhone 6s Plus. Um, so yeah, full body, quite thin, good camera, HD screen, front selfie camera, and allows you to become a magician. So cool, right? And it's all for only 499. So yeah, despite the brand being you know very new to the market, I think if you ask me, I'll say yeah, why not go ahead and buy this phone because it's only 499 and it has all the features that other mid-range phone or even premium phone has. That's it. Till next time. Goodbye.